This is our 36 Dodge LC half ton. Uh, this video will cover a few different things. First off, there will be a very slow paced walk around of the truck. And then following that, there will be a second walk around where I'll show close ups of each of the cosmetic blemishes and then some shots of the interior as well as the truck running. So we purchased it out of the Chicago suburbs um, from a gentleman who car had belonged to his dad for the last 10 years. Um, prior to that, the truck was in Wisconsin. Uh, truck will come with service records going back to 1971, uh, most significant of which being a comprehensive engine rebuild, the original engine uh, in 2002. So please inquire for scanned copies of all those records. Um, but as the truck sits now, it's a really, really nicely sorted driver. Uh, we were very impressed with it. Uh, it has a uh, rear end out of a 51 Dodge Wayfarer, uh, which is a car rather than a truck. Uh, very, very nice for drivability. Uh, this thing's got nice long gears, keeps up with traffic. Um, actually gets moving with pretty, pretty impressive power. You can see there, uh, inside the bed, there's just quite a bit of... It's not rust, it's, uh, you know, the paint's just kind of chipped away. There was a big wooden, uh, wooden box in there when we bought it, and we removed that. Um, if we were to keep it, we'd probably, you know, design a similar kind of, you know, nice-looking wooden bed. But uh, we are not positive as to when the truck was painted. Um, it is a really nice shade of dark green, but we know it was previous, uh, it was before the last owner had it, so more than 10 years ago, uh, that's for certain. Overall, though, it presents really, really well. Uh, underneath, this thing's really impressive, so check out the photos in the listing, but it's bone dry, just nice shiny black metal. Uh, here are all the blemishes. You can see some chipping down there along the uh, front of the fender, and then all the typical spots, like the back of the headlights, and then on top of the cowl have some scratching, because these you know, these hoods obviously fold up and it's it's pretty easy to scratch. So you can see a little bit of that there. The sills, steps, are pretty nice. Um, that's not rust on the inside, it's just, you know, the, the old weather stripping um, lining it. A couple little nicks, little imperfections in the paint. Bumpers are nice. And there's just another look at the, uh, you know, condition of the paint in the bed. Then there are uh, most significant paint blisters on the thing are over on the passenger rear. Uh, we'll call it the quarter, the flare. So you can see that there. But the body itself is nice and straight, especially considering, you know, it's, it's a 36 work truck. Uh, tires are in nice shape. They're Coker Classics. Uh, Steelys and polished hubcaps are in nice shape as well. You can see less chipping and scratching on this side as the hood is typically opened from the other side. Now onto the interior. Uh, door panels, you know, light scratches, you know, kind of general wear as to be expected. Uh, the gauges are all functional. Uh, the odometer reading of 73,000 is actually believed to be accurate. It's consistent with all the service records and uh, you know it's still the original drivetrain. Nice tan vinyl seats. It does have lap seat belts installed. Uh, obviously roll up windows. The heater installed under the dash does work as does the uh, aftermarket temp gauge. On the heater actually even the uh, the light within the heater knob still works so powered systems are all good uh, it is a fixed windshield that little electric fan to the left of the driver does work um, but very very nicely sorted driver no clutch chatter very smooth shifting handbrake is functional um, confidence inspiring the big floor mat is a nice shape 